Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Nier. So since last time I've done a little bit of side quest, got some money, got a new sword called the Beast Bane. If you want to hear the, uh, the information on that, go look at the little extra video I made. I don't honestly know how long it is, because I just finished recording it. So it might actually be kind of long, or it might be really short, but... Uh, there was just a few interesting side quests that I ran into while I was in there. And our next goal is to go to Facade, which is a new city we haven't visited yet. It's a different city, to say the least. Way different. And in fact, um, I... Oh yeah, I've, I've got a bunch of medicinal herbs. I, I basically stocked up on stuff I needed. We, uh, well, let's just say today is going to be a little bit fast forwarded because there's a lot that's going to happen that's going to be really slow and I don't know quite how far we're going to get today, but we're just going to kind of go for it. Also, it turned deserty really fast. Yep, our our town we're heading to now is in the desert. So what's the facade like? It's strange. Let's just leave it at that. Stranger than a boorish young woman who battles monsters in her undergarments. Let's go. That sand does not look safe. There is something over there I want though. Or at least I think I want it. Anyway, what's this, a fountain? certainly looks odd, doesn't it? Can't really do anything with that. Oh, hi wolves. We'll pay attention to you in a second. It appears to be out of service, so these are some side quest related thing I've never actually seen. So we might take a look at it. Uh, that's a wolf. Oh, there must be something else. Oh, there's the scorpion, dang it. Kill it. <laughs> yep, it's an enemy kill it. Now that I understand. The scorpions, if I remember correctly, have this bad habit of getting you a lot here. Oh, stupid wolf, get off! I didn't know they could do that. You got anything good on you? Wolf thing. Ah, sweet, finally. I've been waiting for some level ups for a while now. Level ups are just good for pretty much everything. Though they don't seem to come that quickly in this game. Like you got a bunch in the you know in the intro section, but not so many here. Uh oh. Wait, they're leaving. Spooky wolf. That one appears to be the pack leader. Trying to figure out, uh, what is this? I don't know what this is. In fact, this looks kind of like a grave. What manner of place is this? Looks like a graveyard. The headstones seem to be locking names. Also, why do they shine as if they were carved from the rock just yesterday? That is a little weird, isn't it? I don't really know what this thing was. Oh well, let's walk all over there, possibly graves. I don't know. And it looks like there's a sandstorm over there. In fact, I think we'll be investigating that in a bit. Anyway, this is another one of these towers. Apparently, they are used for teleporting. Appears to be out of service, right? Yeah. Apparently used for teleporting, it allows you to go back and forth between the areas quicker. Because you don't have a, uh, a boar here. So I guess it's kind of useful for that type of thing. Though honestly, I don't plan on going back and forth enough to make that worthwhile. So I don't really think it'll be that useful. Oh yeah, there's another tower. Oh, yeah. Stay away. They're poisonous and they hurt. So this is the town of Facade. 
<clears throat> the gate's closed shut. Maybe we'll have to force our way in. Doesn't look like we'll be getting in very easily. Uh, now see here. Uh, They appear to be surprised by your lack of clothing. You know these guys, Kaine? No, it's not that. You sure you don't? Because you're waving at them like you did. Well, doesn't this sound like a happy little town here? I'd sure hope so. So, let's get an overview of what we're looking at here. Anyone want to say confusing, maybe? There's, a while back, there's definitely a lot going on here. Their kids from a pack of wolves. Ever since, this town's welcomed me with open arms. It's got to be a pretty screwed up place if they let me in, huh? Anyway, I don't know the language or anything. So don't get too excited. Oh yeah, another little tidbit, uh, which will be explained soon. The king lives in the big building. What about you? Yeah, I know the king lives in the I'll big stay building. Here. I hate crap like this. I don't know whether to thank you or wish you ill. I, that's I what I was waiting for. Stroll about towns in order. The language they use here is pretty crazy. So good luck with that. So as explained, um. These guys have an odd language. Yeah. I can't understand a thing these people are saying. They speak a language I have never before encountered. They've got like wingdings from uh from Microsoft Word. Maybe I should have studied languages when I was a kid. You could speak a thousand tongues and still fail if you lack knowledge of another's culture. No more witty no more witty words? What about the adults? Edie. I know exactly. So the first thing you might notice is that there's a lot of like stairs and I weird stuff. That huge structure is the king's manor. How do we even get there? We have the willpower and smarts, my good man. And a good bit of luck. Look at this. This place is crazy. My thoughts exactly, sir. So apparently there's a couple ways through this town. And generally the best way through is just kind of like whatever way you can walk there. Just sort of make your way through as best you can. Come on, guys. Help me out. Also, I think that's quicksand. You don't want to fall down there. I am a brilliant book of unspeakable value. Some dog ass travel guide. <laughs> okay, I think I think we figured it out. There we go. So let it let us in. All these stairs. They couldn't have made this more needlessly complicated if they tried. Is that all you gotta we say? Best okay. Out a way to the king. Elsewise we'll be ascending and descending stairs until doomsday. Well, we figured it out. I'm just waiting for you guys to finish talking. I sure wish I understood this language of theirs. This is pointless. Let us go back. So, the creators of Nier are nice enough to realize that that was a little tedious and not make us walk all the way back. Well, maybe we better talk to Kaine. Or Popola. Popola knows what's up. Or we could watch a kid drop stuff. And, you know, normally most people like Nier, because Nier's oh, a pretty... and what happened to helping others, hmm? Yeah. Nier's normally a pretty nice guy. I would oh, imagine that uh, he would normally try to help the person first. But nope, nope. Nier picks up all of their stuff first. You need help? Here, let me help you by picking up all your stuff first. And then I'll talk to you instead of actually helping you up. This one lacks the power of speech. Perhaps she can communicate through gesture. Let me see. Thank you. You're welcome. 
I am Fira. Are you in trouble? No, we just need to ask your leaders about something. But I can't do that unless I can understand them. I can guide you? Oh, she will act as our guide. How fortuitous. How fortuitous indeed. But first, I must explain this town. I'm not here for a tour. No, there are rules to follow. Follow me. Well, there you have it. So they they never quite explain how this translation thing works. And we're just kinda to assume that for whatever reason Vice and Fira here can communicate through gestures. I'm guessing some sort of rudimentary sign language or something. Alright, so what do you say? You won't help us, okay. Same we are impeding oh yeah, I forgot. We've gotta follow her. We're going to be speeding up a little bit of this, but I still want you guys to be able to see what they have to say. This is an item shop. All shops and houses in the city must abide by the following rule. Rule 106. Do not live on level ground. Rule 106. We have many rules. Is rule 106 the reason for your labyrinthine system of staircases? Yes, that is the rule. Well, I suppose eccentric people deserve an eccentric town. Alright, keep going. You gotta follow the train of progress. So, you may have noticed something a little weird about this. Rule 106. Anyone thinking that's a bit odd? It gets better. This is a sand skiff dock. Rule 1000, Rule 115,017. You must view the town by ship before purchasing any items. Oh, come now. What could possibly be the point of such an absurd rule? I don't know. It was a rule that was in place when I first came here, not a new one. Hold on. Your people are still making rules? Yes. I heard that we passed Rule 124,046 earlier this month. Of all the idiocy, I could never live in this city. Yeah, they have a lot of rules here. We're gonna make this go a little bit faster. Anything else cool to show us? No, I know we're impeding progress. Come on. What do you have to tell us now? This is a grocery. Rule 11,034. You must live at a level appropriate to your position. Ah, so the aristocracy lives in the top levels, while the commoners subsist below. Yes. Seems like a rather unpleasant rule for those on the bottom. Does this girl plan to drag us about the entire town in this fashion? It does seem so. It sure does love her rules, doesn't she? Um, we could? Alright, so that was more tedious than I thought. The only real interest in that is you get to see some of the odd rules that they have that you don't quite get explained if you don't do that. So what do you have to say now? This is the King's Manor. However, we have no king now. You have no king? Our king was stricken with a foul black ick... Ic illness and so passed away his son the prince now rules this land the black scroll this is the princess's royal the prince's royal advisor he would know far more about these things than i thank you all of this touring has been helpful for understanding your language i believe i will be able to speak with this advisor myself so now vice gets this weird ability to basically translate for us which doesn't quite I don't quite understand how that works for a book that has no arms or anything but we'll, we'll go with it we need to talk to the prince I'm afraid the prince is not taking outside visitors at present I would appreciate it if you would come back another day 
My patience for this kind of thing has long ago evaporated. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Vera. Let's go back to Kaine for now. Oh no, oh no, we're done with this. Skip, skip, skip. <laughs> so we gotta go see Kaine. Or maybe even Popola. Hopefully one of them has a decent idea for what to do here. Finish your business, yeah. Thankfully we met a girl who helped us get around. A girl? Yeah, we probably have to wait for her to come here. Oh my gosh! What? What is it? Slow down, I can barely hear the person who saved me. Surely you don't mean Kaine. Kaine helped you, this foul mouthed hussy. Piss off, book. You guys done? Hey, did you hear the news? The prince is missing. Uh oh. What? Then we're in violation of Rule 83,348. What's going on? The prince is gone. And according to Rule 83,348, we have to start looking for him right away. No, you don't get it. The prince went missing in the Baron Temple. But Rule 50,527 states that only nobility may enter the temple. Oh no, that means we can go look for him. But what about rule 83,348? What about rule 50,527? Hmm. Looks like all those rules are getting in the way. This is their way and their system of laws. As outsiders, we have no say in the matter. Come, we should be off. Sure, let's go. See you losers later. Hold on a moment. It seems the hussy is not moving. Well, let us go investigate. I'm going to save the prince. Lida. No, you can't. Have you forgotten about rule 50,527? I think we haven't. We've talked about it a lot. Oh, screw the rules. You could just ask an outsider to go save him. Then no one violates a rule. Huh? You know, an outsider, like me. Oh, that's convenient. Look at Nier being all nice again. And oh, what luck. There just happens to be an outsider here who can't stop meddling in the affairs of others. Impossible. We could never ask such a thing. I'll do it. Vera told me about Rule 1024. You know that one, right? Rule 1024. You must honor the request of any outsider owed a debt. That's how it goes, right, Fira? Why did I ever agree to travel with such a pack of do-gooders? Let's go. And let's slowly skip along happily. Unfortunately, um, I want to save the dungeon for a whole episode by itself. So we're going to save here and then we'll go through that. Just wipe the dungeon in one go. This is probably a good time to do it. Uh, let's see. It didn't honestly take me the two or so hours of that, well, about two and a half, two twenty. Yeah, it didn't take me about, th it didn't honestly take me that long to get all the side quest stuff done. I also, like, took a short break and ate in there, so. Our, our, our playtime's gonna be a little skewed. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode with the weird rules and... All of this kind of makes sense. There's some reasoning behind it, and it'll get explained either at the end of the first ending or the end of the second ending, and I'm not sure which one it is. And I will be truthful with you guys, I don't actually know everything there is to know about this game, but I will try to educate myself so that if anything of interest does pop up, we can uh, bring it up for discussion throughout our adventures. It should be fun. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!